Hello beautiful souls, welcome to I need you my love channel. If you are new to our channel, please do subscribe and follow us for more videos like this. No goodbyes. Hey Ultiman, it's been two months since we last talked and it still has talked to me. We've never been to not talking to each other for more than two weeks. But this time it's totally different. This time you are determined to never talk to me again. And the worst thing is that nothing happened for us to be in this position. You just simply ghosted me one fine Saturday afternoon and then vanished. There is no sign from you. You don't text, you don't post and you don't even see what I post which also shows your determination to cut ties with me. I have no idea what really happened, what I did to you because our last text where you won appetite me thank you. It hurts you know. As for some reason I strongly believe that you found someone that day or you got back with your ex. My favorite theory that you got engaged to some stranger in an arranged marriage. I know that there was no future for us and that we would never grow old together but I still loved you even though it was impossible. Even when you cheated on me and came to me for advice on how to date the new girl. I really thought we were the friends for our thing, that nothing was going to come between us but turns out that it's not true. I believe your new girl won't let you talk to me and that hurts cause I really do that you would be by my side always. To my favorite human being, to the best person I once knew, I hope that you are living the most beautiful and peaceful life and that you really are truly happy. If you have found a new girl, I hope that she is just as amazing as you are and I hope she appreciates your ambitions and I hope she supports your dreams even though you have given up on them yourself. I am going to keep our promise to meet each other at the top with a list of bad jokes that you love, with lost of love and longing, yes only early. You. So this letter is driven by anger. I allowed myself to stoop so low and feel like I needed all of the fixing. You made me feel like I was impatient. Boy, you. I waited seven months for you to come. Seven months. And I begged and fought for a good morning text. Sad. Never doing that again. Pathetic and sad. I don't like you at all. I'm glad I'm watching her instead of you. My friends are better than you and you can yourself.